I'm an environmentalist. Of course I recycle. Majority of plastic waste is sent to the Global South countries and then they're blamed for having high rates of plastic waste. I'm an environmentalist. Of course people should be driving electric cars. But it's important to note that lithium mining can actually be destructive to the environment and displace and harm indigenous communities and the cost of electric vehicles isn't always accessible. I'm an environmentalist. Of course I love to hug trees. But many black and brown communities don't have access to tree equity, thus leading to the urban heat island effect. I'm an environmentalist. Of course I think everyone should be vegan. But it's important to remember that many people live in a state of food apartheid and don't have access to safe, healthy, and culturally appropriate foods. I'm an environmentalist. Of course I think the climate crisis is the most pressing issue of our time. For some people, it may be the medical industry that exploits people, or others for the housing that are at risk of losing their jobs, or the food crisis where people have no adequate access to food. Because of all that nuance, that's why you should be an, an intersectional, intersectional environmentalist. environmentalist. Let's make a Big Mac mess featuring McDonald's. In 2019, McDonald's was responsible for more than 53 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions, which exceeds the entire annual emissions of Norway. More than 300 children were discovered to be working at branches across the US, including two 10-year-olds. For this, the company was only fined 0.0002% of its 2022 profits, despite its net worth of $208 billion. McDonald's has just one restaurant in Cuba, on Guantanamo Bay, where prisoners are often held without charge or trial. But the restaurant doesn't serve them, it's for US military personnel only. At least McDonald's is consistent. They've been giving thousands of free meals to IOF soldiers in Israel to ensure no one commits genocide on an empty stomach. As a result, people have been boycotting McDonald's and McDonald's has recorded their first sales miss in nearly four years. I'm loving it. Yes, you heard that correctly. Airbnb are giving two bookworms the once in a lifetime chance of staying- Reminder that Airbnb is on the boycott list for including properties in illegal Israeli settlements in the occupied West Bank. Do not engage with this. Um, with the life that I have now, um, as a white woman who leads a black led sport um, and celebrated here, I wanna show a light on black women. Um, they don't get the media coverage that they deserve. Um, they've given so much to this sport and the community and society as a whole, and their value is un undeniable. Um, and the WNBA, last season, the postseason awards, 80% of the winners were black, but they got half the amount of coverage as the white athletes. So I think it's time for change. Um, sports media holds the key to storylines. Sport 
sports media and sponsors tell us who is valuable, and you have told the world that I matter today, and everyone who voted, thank you. Um, but I think we should use this power together to also celebrate black women. So to Maria Taylor, Robin Roberts, Maya Moore, Odyssey Alexander, to all the incredible black women in my life, on my teams, to Breonna Taylor and all the lives lost, and to those names who have not yet learned, but I hope to share. I stand behind you and I will continue to follow, follow you and follow your lead and fight for you guys. So. a very dangerous person on this app who infiltrates the liberation movements of marginalized communities. I need you to watch this video until the end. I first encountered this individual a year ago when I accidentally kicked a Yahtzee beehive out of Canada and there she was right alongside them taking up arms. Modding for and hopping on panels with white supremacists confirmed to be members of far-right extremist groups in Canada encouraging people in my own comment section to dox me and send unaliving threats. This individual will claim proximity to large creators, initiatives, and organizations in order to gain trust with the objective of garnering personal information to later dox you. She did this in 2020 amidst the rise of the Black Lives Matter movement following the unaliving of George Floyd. And again, with the 2SLGBTQIA plus movement with the rise in sweeping eradication legislation. And now with the pro-Palestinian movement. You may find her as a mod in one of your favorite Palestinian or pro-Palestinian creators' lives. In contrast, you will also find her as a mod in some of this platform's most foul Zionists' lives. When I saw her make her way into this initiative, my stomach sank, realizing none of these creators knew who this was. And I would watch live after live as she would drop their entire mod team invite entire swarms of Zios to attack the live, and then get it taken down. I would watch her manhandle entire panels deciding who does and doesn't speak, blocking Palestinians left and right. This wasn't shocking to see because I've watched her in action across multiple initiatives, but I needed my Palestinian mutuals in this space who did not know to keep themselves safe. So I began sharing in the background. But unfortunately, word is not spreading fast enough as those who are coming to this realization are not saying her name. It's Jax. Jax is a dangerous individual who partners with white supremacists to dox marginalized individuals who are seeking liberation for their communities. If this individual has become mutuals with you, please block them for your safety. If they have garnered enough trust to gain your phone number, please change it. They will dox you. And please vet everyone. There are always people with terrible intentions who want to infiltrate. Go be safe. Stop calling for a ceasefire. It is not going to get us anywhere. Hey, sing this shit!
Good afternoon. This is a customer announcement. Sainsbury's is now selling a range of Israeli goods in this store. Some of the avocados on aisle one of products are actually grown in the illegal settlements in the West Bank. The Supra, Sabra hummus on aisle three is also a product of, uh, of Israel. And several of the items within the coastal section are also uh, products of, of Israel. So please check the label and do not buy items which say produce of Israel. Sale of which are funding the genocide in Gaza, they fund the occupation and the uh, illegal settlements in the, in the West Bank. <clears throat> so as consumers, we have choices. We can, we can actually support justice purely by actually choosing what we buy or what we don't buy. So please don't buy Israeli produce if you are opposed to the massacres in, uh, in Gaza and the ethnic cleansing that's happening over there. Okay, we all, we all have choices to make. Please do not buy Israeli produce. Thank you. I'm so confused. I thought they wanted their hostages back, but they're just dancing and singing. Insanity. You want an update from Bisan? Today in Rafah, right before Iftar. For those of you who don't know what Iftar is, it is when Muslims who are practicing the month of Ramadan and fasting break their fast for that specific day. And Bisan said that everyone was getting ready to try and, of course, break their fast. And they were all shocked to hear an explosion, but it was super, super close. Now, if you don't know, Bisan is in an area where it is all civilian. It's desert, tents, and civilians. And right before these people were getting ready to break their fast, a airstrike hit. And this is the reaction of all of the people in the area finding out that a bunch of people were unalive. Pay attention to what she says. People are now sleeping in the old farms or their greenhouses. And an extra reminder for those of you who wanted to say Israel left behind a bunch of greenhouses and beautiful farms and so on and so forth, and all of it got destroyed by H group. Not the truth. The people are living on the land. It is their land. They love it. But anyways, watch the video. And people, because there is no enough places in the buildings anymore, they are living in the farms. And any bombing work will kill people. Any Oh my god, it's a body, it's a body, it's a body. Now, instead of waiting for Futur, instead of waiting for Ramadan, in the middle of the day, in Rafah, in the southern areas of Gaza Strip, in Ramadan, the holy month, we are grabbing bodies from under the bombing, uh, um, um, on front of all these children. doing it again just say gaza it's not Hazza. husbands you don't speak arabic and it's that's not even how it's said in 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 that language anyway there's no need for you to be ad mass adopting Hazza. Hazza. husbands you are you an arabic woman do you even speak that language it's insulting yeah it's like me saying every time i say um in english um um Abuja, Abuja, when I'm not even black or, or from that region. So stop it, yeah? It doesn't make, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a trend. These are people's lives we're talking about. Hazza, Hazza. Say Gaza, not Hazza. I know you're trying to be an Arabic woman. You don't need to assimilate into any sort of culture to save Gaza. This shows what it is for you. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, um, it's a way for you to get notoriety and... <laughs>
raised in an activist house. Yvette Clark, how dare you stand here and say that you speak for New Yorkers, say that you speak for the rights of women. We're raising Palestinian women being violated in the worst possible ways by the Israeli occupation forces. And you have not said a single word. You have not called it a genocide. How dare you stand here? You, you are a war criminal. How dare you vote to defund the UNRWA? How dare you forcibly starve Palestinians to death? You're arming Israel, right? You're sending weapons and money to Israel to kill Palestinians right now. You stop UNRWA, the main organization funding education and food to Palestinians. They, they have the funding for this year. That funding that was allocated before a genocide began, how could that funding ever be enough when 80% of the infrastructure uh, has been destroyed? To it's to remember. a foreign government millions, billions of dollars every year and you're okay with that. Before October 7th, you're we still all... sending money to them. What do you mean? Clark, you get high! Eva Clark, you get high! We charge you with genocide! 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 Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Remember when we learned about how Jews were forced into a concentration camp called the Warsaw Ghetto and their oppressors basically walled them off and nobody was allowed in and out without permission even to the point where they controlled food going in so there would be periods of starvation where they wouldn't allow food inside and soldiers would come in at any time and take whichever Jew they wanted and there was no like legal system to protect the Jews and the family members and Jews left behind had no idea what was happening to and them and many of them never actually returned and were killed by the oppressors and eventually the Jews left behind realized that they were basically being ethnically cleansed and so they formed an underground resistance movement and they snuck in some weapons and made some of their own and they would use these to fight off their oppressors as much as they could. The oppressors had a much stronger military might. Eventually they just decided to destroy the entire ghetto and raise it to the ground. And every single person trapped in that ghetto was considered guilty whether they were part of the resistance fighters or not and they were made to pay for it. Now if you just exchange the word Jews for Palestinians and Warsaw ghetto to Gaza's concentration camp, every single fact still applies. Except the world is expected to condemn one group for fighting against their oppressors and memorialize the other group as heroes. A lot of us are going out to protest for Palestine this weekend. Here's some protest tips. First, the government loves tapping phones at protests via Stingray technology and helicopters. You can make your own government-proof Faraday bag by sealing at least three alternating layers of plastic bags and tin foil around your phone like this. The U.S. government uses mass incarceration as a tool to keep black people from voting by making them felons. If you see cops harassing black or brown people at a protest, physically get in the way. If cops try to harass you, ask, am I free to leave? If yes, then calmly walk away. If yes, ask, am I under arrest? And then, for what crime? Give your name and address, then say, I wish to remain silent, I want a lawyer. If you see someone getting arrested, ask their name and date of birth and write it down. Try to record the arrest as it happens. Call your local chapter of the National Lawyers Guild and give them that info. Good luck at your protest and free Palestine.
Jesus is running the show. Hello? Jesus. It's not a